And there is no one who's reported as effectively, has campaigned as effectively for Julian Assange as Craig Murray. Thank you everyone. It's absolutely wonderful to see you all. And I want to start off by thanking you from the bottom of our hearts, all of you who have stood out in the cold and the rain this last two days to support Julian Assange. It's been a really, really fantastic effort. Thank you. And we are a community a community that shows the sort of democracy that Julian dreams of, yeah. where freedom of information empowers people and puts, puts power back from the hands of the politicians into the hands of the people. And I see here people I have been seeing for more than 10 years, people who I saw standing in the cold and the wet outside the Ecuadorian embassy, people I saw day in, day night who have been campaigning, and it has not been without effect. We have turned around public opinion on Julian Assange Yay! in this case. And we have done that to the extent that the establishment now have to listen. And yesterday and today in the court, I sat there in the courtroom, I wish you could all have been there because Firstly, Julian's legal team did a fantastic job. Uh, and secondly, I saw something I would not have said in five years of these legal processes. For the first time, I saw judges who were actually listening intelligently and paying attention to what the defense says. And we have done that. We have done that because they can no longer ignore us. They can no longer scorn us. And we heard, in a UK court, we heard Julian's defense outline the war crimes of the United States. We heard lawyers, eminent KCs, speak to the bench and talk of massacre, torture, drone killings, killings of journalists, of systematic war crimes committed by the United States and its allies, and what Julian has done to expose that. Hey. You know, yesterday in the United Nations, the United States vetoed a ceasefire resolution on Gaza and the United Kingdom, as its cowardly little henchman, abstained alongside it. And we are fighting the same thing. We have here the United States trying to destroy Julian Assange and the United Kingdom as its cowardly little henchman keeping him in Belmarsh jail. We will not stand for it. This will not last. It is essential to the freedom of all of us that Julian is released because he stands for freedom of information and for the right of people to know what governments are secretly doing in their name and with their resources. We are fighting a noble battle and it is a battle which is turning and a battle which will win and it's a battle fundamentally for the very kind of society we wish to live in. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you.